First of all, I think uh, Carrie Walsh and Missy May had a lot to do with it in the fact that they had so much success in the Olympics. Kids and parents, they, they start seeing beach volleyball, again, not just as entertainment or the weekend sport. It's also an easy sport to add in terms of financials for any institution, but it's been the fastest growing NCAA sport. You know, originally it was really small. There wasn't many clubs or kids playing. They were doing it as a secondary sport. And now we're seeing that because it's growing in the NCAA field, it's blowing up at the junior level. And that's awesome for our game. And there's tournaments for 10 year olds, 12 year olds, 14 year olds. And this is really making the sport more popular and more fun to watch. I think it was a marriage of the AVP and, and the AVCA with this idea that bringing beach volleyball to the collegiate world would be great for student athletes, would create more opportunity, would be great for the pro circuit and also for USA leading up to the Olympics. Then it becomes an emerging sport. Now on an emerging sport list, you have 10 years to basically get 40 schools that sponsor the sport. And some were like, oh, this is great. It'll be an asset to our indoor program. And some were like, no, nah, it'll take away. And then finally, in 2011, it went on the NC2A Emerging Sport list. We had 40 schools almost within three or four years. And the NC2A was like, wow, it is what we thought it would be. So let's take it off the Emerging Sport list and move it on to the official NC2A sports sponsored list. And that's what happened in 2016. I hope that it continues to grow so that not only like are we in the CCSA conference, but like the ACC, other ACC teams, SEC teams, that more schools grow their programs um, so that the sport can grow as a whole. From day one of building shelves my freshman year to my last first day this year, we had a locker room and we got to see that for the first time. So it's just been crazy. Love how the game is growing. Uh, humbled to be part of it, but you know, this is going to just keep going and it, it's really neat. We're going to look back on it someday and say that, hey, we were part of the original history um, and I look forward to that.